Homicide numbers in Houston are skyrocketing. Channel 2 investigates discovering that Houston is second only to Chicago among the nation's six largest cities for murder increases year to date. Within HPD, there is concern that the number of homicides in 2020 may surpass 400. Mm. The department did not want to talk to us for this report, but the family of victims and Mayor Turner are. Here's investigator Mario Diaz. My father, he served his country. He was a loving father. He loved his kids. And what goes through my mind is that I have to fight for justice for my father. Lakeisha Everett's father was killed on October 6th. His name, Richard Graves. And this is his great-grandson, nine-month-old Zaire. Graves held him only once. At 63, he had plenty to live for until his life came to a violent, sudden end. Gagged and uh, zip tied and bound uh, in his home. Graves' homicide part of a deadly surge in Houston this year. At last count, 346 people killed by homicide in the city, obliterating the 2019 total of 280, with six weeks remaining in 2020. Channel 2 investigates crunched homicide statistics from the six largest U.S. cities. Houston's 346 murders ranks fourth in the nation. To the families out there who say that Houston is heading in the wrong direction, what do you say to them? Well, now, I would say to them that um, um, I'm certainly, I, I understand that. And uh, the numbers are going in the wrong direction from what I would like. On November 9th, the city saw significant bloodshed. Six Houstonians killed. It is another rough day. This has been a rough year. The rash of homicides comes after the city announced a COVID-19 crime reduction program in October. Four million dollars in federal funds used for police overtime. Designed to put 110 officers in six strategic hotspot locations. But four of the six homicides on November 9th happened in hotspots where HPD had boosted patrols. I believe, I'm a firm believer, we'll get our arms around it and we'll bring these numbers down. We have the same number of officers today that we had 20 years ago and we've grown by 500,000 people. Andy Kahn of Crime Stoppers says lenient judges are also to blame, highlighting 38 cases this year where suspects out on multiple bonds are accused of committing murder. I don't think there's enough attention being attributed to the revolving door at the courthouse as possibly a reason why we're seeing a spike not just in homicides but in crime as well. Lakeisha Everett says more legal accountability is needed. As for the killer, in her father's case, HPD is still searching. Are you concerned that not enough is being done? Um, yes, I am. Yes, I am. Why? To be honest with you, I feel like my father is just another black man that's been taken. That's how I feel. Lakeisha has been concerned over tips coming into Crime Stoppers since her father's death. Investigators will tell you this year has been challenging for community policing. The issue of trust following George Floyd, a contributing factor. So what did we find out from Crime Stoppers about the flow of tips in 2020? For that portion of the story, we have a web video in the investigate section of click2houston.com. Mario Diaz, KPRC. Channel 2 investigate.